Hello and welcome to another devlog. Uh, today we're going to be talking about network and packet changes. You guys might not know what packets are, maybe you do. I'm going to try and explain it in the best way I know how. Um, to start, uh, I want to cover, you know, all, all the ping and network and latency issues that have been occurring since uh, the Universe 6, you know, 1.2.3 update back in July. Um, and maybe before that too, but it, it's a general thing. Um, uh, I've done some testing with some of the users. I made an identical server that's just like the live four instances. Uh, and then I disconnected it from the network, quote unquote, you know, the hub system thing. Um, and then I tested it out and, uh, with a couple of them. Uh, so far, it's mixed results in that regard. So I'm not quite sure if any of it can be blamed on the proxy setup. So that's good and bad, right? Um, because the proxy is hosted in New York. So at some point, your ping, regardless of where you are, is going to New York and to the server, I believe. You know, I'm not an expert on this. I just using my knowledge and hoping that I can um, shed some light on why maybe you're lagging or this, this and that, or why your connection sucks. Um, and, and again, it's nobody's internet because I, I got people who live in the exact same state as me that can't even join the server and it's like that's odd but you know let's try to figure it out right because obviously i want you guys to all be able to play obviously um so to get right into these packet changes for one i gotta explain what packets are briefly i don't you know you guys don't need the whole definition here uh packets are just little bits of information uh they could be little text like strings they're called in java or integers bytes all, all of these different little uh bits of info they're just little bits of info less than a kilobyte typically um just a few bytes even like if it's just a little one or zero being like a true or false basically um it's basically how the server will tell the client hey bro um show this info in that gui simply right like that's the simple definition and the obviously the server gets packets back as well um from the client to communicate and data info uh, so, right now, 1.2.4, Universe 6, uh, patch, of course, uh, the packets can be sent, get this, so there's a couple dozen packets, right, like, all these little MBT tags, most of which are just little integers, like, you know, a couple numbers, maybe, you know, nine at most, it's a little, like, uh, string of color or something, uh, hexadecimal. Uh, I realize, sorry, a lot of you guys aren't going to understand the terminology, and that's completely fine. I'm just, I'll try and uh, simplify as much as possible. So sorry if it comes off confusing. Feel free to ask down in the comments. I'll, I'll get back to you guys and explain things the best I can. Also, read the comments if you have any questions, because I might have already answered one. Anyway, back to it. Uh, dozens of packets. <clears throat> so they're sent. This is bad. So Minecraft ticks tick 20 times a second, Okay. They're sent anywhere from every single tick, so 20 times a second, to um, two and a half times a second. So it's either every one tick, every seven, 20, or 40. That's the rates I use right now. Um, any level of optimization doesn't beat what I'm gonna mention, the fix and the solution we've uh, already implemented and been using for months on the testing server, two, uh, two or three months. Uh, then I'll also um, explain a little bit later why we can't just roll the packet changes out as soon as we make them, right? Because um, I'd love to. I'd love the server to be better right as soon as possible, but sometimes, well, I'll explain later. Uh, so the packet change is being sent every single tick, uh, every time. It's basically, uh, I like this um, explanation. If I tell you, hey, this update's coming out this day, or bad um if i tell you um i just got my mail and then i tell you i just got my mail again 20 times a second or just a lot in a short period of time you're gonna be like okay you nothing's changed you still just got your mail you feel me so with that let's try and describe this it's like the server will run a method run a, a bit of code and then let's say it's getting your multiplier, your full multiplier. If the MBT tag stored, uh, which is just the server's data, is 1.0, you know, like base form, no multi, 
and then Super Saiyan comes in and it's like 1.5. If it reads, hey, this person's stored tag is 1.0, so therefore that's their last multi that the client knows, it will update that tag and then send that tag with a 1.5 or whatever it is. So <clears throat> to put it simply, you join the server now. I know this is kind of jumping, but like basically packets are sent when they're needed instead of super just spam often. And to say this will fix performance is aggressive, but... I mean, just hearing we have packets, we have a dozen or two dozen packets being sent 20 times a second. That's a lot of network activity for every single player online, mind you. Um, there's also packets that are sent to the entire server players. So like everyone would get one. I don't know exactly how those ones work. I haven't looked into those a lot yet. Um, however, I will. So, you know, let's say you're in the action menu. You turn God key on. Why is the server telling the client what their god key value is every second? That just seems illogical, right? If I click god key and it's on and it gets turned off, tell the server I turned it off and then update the client value. Okay, that's it. That's it. So when you join the server, you're going to get these 20 or so packets sent to your client. And then when they need to be changed, they'll be changed. So I hope that makes sense. Basically, the, the, the client is on a need to know basis now. It's, uh, you don't need to know. You don't need the data. If I don't, um, my buddy doesn't ask me, did you get your mail? I'm not going to tell him I got the mail. Or he's going to say, uh, hey, uh, I need that info. Can you give it to me? Cool. Uh, I'm going to be like, okay, my answer changed. Here's the new info. Like that. It, you know, it's something so obvious that when you hear this, I hope you realize that the old method is kind of disgusting and it's like you were doing that but i believe that's just kind of common packet practice because typically you don't have dozens of packets you just have a couple sending like oh boom 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 you don't have all the packets we have um and, and you know just with the packet changes i would like to explain why we won't roll them out right now it's not us um being like we're not going to you guys have to wait till the update to make the update better um, as much as that's cool, that's not the reason. The reason, truthfully, is just, well, <sighs> these packet changes aren't fully tested. So like, yeah, they've been done for, you know, a month and a half or so, just been adding a couple things. There's still things I'm finding that are like, oops, forgot this packet wasn't sending, right? So, you know, because everything being sent all the time, there's a lot of places like every time you upgrade a form it needs to send the packet now since it's not being sent all the time it has to send it every time it changes so it's it's a lot in that regard but you know it's not like that's all we've done right like even by the time the packet changes were done there was already a couple other things completely changed about the server in the this 1.2.5 build which is the gt update mind you so we can't just roll out a change you know like boom <laughs> can't just fix it uh that's where patches come in after these updates to be quick fixes and quick adjustments and quick changes to everything because you know as much as these packet changes sound amazing there's no way of firmly knowing if they're going to improve performance right i mean <clears throat> theoretically they will by 20 fold at, at, at minimum like actually there could be an infinite improvement uh it sounds weird but if a packet was being sent 20 times a second at the most and now it's being sent if you're lucky like once a minute but you know with coding in general i'm going to get more into the overall coding aspect like a lot of my work and effort it really is put into like i'll see a class i'll see a method whatever existing code that i've already done or whatever and then i'll be like that's uh, kind of messy, you know, I have a, have a for loop if statement, uh, a lot of things, you know, like got five brackets going into one thing. Um, if you guys have ever seen code, it's just messy code, right? Like spaghetti code, if you will. And a lot of things, just improper methods, you know, uh, a lot of my time truthfully is just spent cleaning up all of our mods. Every update, we did it back in U6, now we're doing it more this update. This update sees so... Um, so much changes in that regard to 
and that's not to say like me removing a couple classes or methods is going to suddenly boost your performance. No, it's just like for my sake, you know, I, I don't like to know that I got spaghetti code everywhere. And every time I look at my code, I'm going to cry to myself and be like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. And I coded this. That doesn't feel right to me. So, um, get back to the packet changes because that's what this is for. Uh, you'll be playing on the main server. I'll put it up on screen. Uh, the network usage of the client. You realize, like, when you're in spawn, man, you could hit 10 to 20 megabits uh, download. And, like, you know, I know that's... A lot of people have that internet, but... I don't know about you, but I'm in Discord a lot. I'm in watching YouTube. I'm doing all these things. I don't... Like... The way I look at it... When, I, when I'm playing a real game, I don't notice, unless I'm downloading something, I don't notice 10 to 20 megabits every time I load a couple players. That doesn't feel right at all, you know? Um, so with that, you know, that's just because all that constant data, you have data being sent, like you're seeing per second. Think about that. So if it's 5 megabits a second, you're going to see the, the couple dozen packets being sent, again, anywhere from every tick, every 7 ticks every 20 ticks and every 40 ticks 40 ticks is two seconds one 20 ticks is one second so you know um you can see all of that and if you got one cent every tick that packet was just sent within that second 20 times man so if it's a even if it's a little like one kilobit string dude that just became 20 kilobit kilobytes whatever it is uh I i'm sure we can understand why this is like a compounding effect and it's just a bad practice, in my opinion, to have all of these packets being sent, just spam sending to the client just to make sure the data is updated. Um, it's just not good practice. And again, I don't have formal coding knowledge, so maybe this is super obvious to anybody who knows Java. Maybe I'm stupid for ever letting the code be like this. However, when I when I picked up coding... It was a matter of, okay, let's get this functional, let's get an update out, let's do this, let's do that. But now it's becoming more of, okay, let's make everything great, amazing, and perfect, right? And, you know, nothing about it would be perfect, that's impossible. Not everyone agrees something is the best, it can be, whatever. However, making it, making these small improvements here and there, and large improvements, uh, help me enjoy what I'm doing. And I hope you guys enjoy the... Uh, server when these updates come out and just in general you know uh me and the team all work super hard to bring you guys these updates um i can't really give you guys much info on like when gt's coming out um we're working hard on it i don't want to say soon i don't want to say any of that because i mean i don't want to set any dates on anything because you know it's still in the works we still have stuff to do there's still unfinished content in the update like you know I'll tell you, not everything's done in GT. GT's not just sitting. Uh, <laughs> I feel like that's obvious. If the update was done, trust me, we would have started teasing by now. Um, the, the plan is, once the update's near com nearing completion, we'll start hyping you guys up. And I, I'm trying to be a little bit transparent about this for you guys. Uh, you know, I don't, I, I don't try to make the process vague. It's just, when coming up with teasers, I have to, like, I was thinking the last week or two, I'm like, what can I give them as a little teaser image, gif, whatever it is in the teaser channel? And I'm thinking, well, if I tease anything on this list, it's either going to be confusing or, you know what I mean? I'm either going to be explaining, clarifying, oh, well, same thing, uh, doing all these things just to get a teaser out and get you guys a little hyped when we could just wait until we're ready to show you guys this info and surprise you guys with this info. Because there's, um, there's a lot of surprising things in GT. Frankly... This is my favorite update that we've worked on. And I'm happy to know that I got a team around me that is happy to work on it with me. Um, we're finally getting more people on the team. We got more builders than ever before. We got more scalers than ever before. We got two people scaling, at least four builders that are all passionate to work. Um, and yeah, you know, the, the stuff's coming together. Um, I hope you guys are excited for this update. It's, uh, it's coming. Uh, you guys will be seeing news soon. Make sure you guys tune into my little podcasts on the weekend. I love doing those little things. Uh, you know, we're playing through the, the story, finding issues myself, 
playing through being like wow you guys are right about this thing you know finding the issues myself experiencing the pain of the grind myself reaping what i sow hope you guys have an amazing day thank you guys for tuning into this long-winded devlog sorry about that um just a lot to talk about if you guys have any questions comments down below um i guess drop a like i don't know subscribe uh thank you guys all for tuning in have an amazing day